Hello everybody. Welcome to Eldrum Red Tide Road Untraveled, our brand new series where we do everything that we didn't do in the main playthroughs. We're going to be talking about dream sequences and the places that you can go and the items and special lore items that you can gain. So in the format of this, I'm basically going to either walk you through my collection of these items or I will give you a synopsis of all the items that I've collected. In this case, we're simply going to have a synopsis, but I'm also going to show you the location of these items simply because I did a recording and unfortunately the sound quality wasn't up to par. But let's quickly go over it. When you first start the dream sequence, you will have an opportunity to head toward the Barnabas residence. At that point, you may encounter refugees. For my advice in this situation, please grab the refugees because they can be put to the side while you take care of the matters at the residence. The refugees are not in any danger from you going to your Barnabas residence, so just letting you know. I will also be letting you know if there are weapons, traps, lore, and food items that are valuable to you, as well as other special items. All right, so let's go to the Barnabas residence number one after our term of speaking rate down. Barnabas residence. Health point 70. Dead scavengers have been left to rot on the walkway in front of the Barnabas residence. All right, so when you first arrive at the Barnabas residence, you will notice two to three scavengers hanging out. Especially you'll notice two particular scavengers who are robbing your house of food items. There will also be a third scavenger on the third floor who is asleep, who is an opium addict. So there are some most, there's some mo very important things you should do. Number one, you're going to want to leave your brother, Olive, outside to guard. He will help you capture the two thieves who have stolen food. If you do this, you will gain three apples, three pears, and a loaf of bread, which are actually quite valuable for this early in the game. If you take your brother in with you, then the thieves will use a rope and get away, and you also not be able to retrieve what is extremely cool, the rope. So I'm gonna also talk about tools you can get if you play your cards right. Now, once you walk in, Enter the building. Used. I'm Button. going to double tap that. Enter the building. Used. The kitchen on the ground floor has been left in disarray. Dim light emanates from the fire pit. Okay. Now the kitchen has already been looted because the thieves who were at the top will try to run by you. They will, but they will try to jump out the window so they have the food. So if your brother's outside standing guard, you won't lose that opportunity. Go upstairs to the second floor. So Used. if Button. you go up to the, go second upstairs floor. to the second floor. Used. The candlelight flickers in the night breeze. Dripping wax on the nightstand. Various trinkets and moth riddle garments are piled up on the floor. There are various items, and I'll go over all the items you receive, but I'm not going to do that right now. But you're going to want to search everything here on the second floor, and then... Go upstairs to the third floor. Go Used. to the third Button. floor. Go upstairs to the third floor. Used. Miriam's dwelling is cluttered and disorganized, even more so than usual. A few candles are burning on her desk. Now it gets confusing which floor is whose, but it doesn't really matter. Just remember to go to the second and third floor. Now at this point, there's a drug addict, an opium addict, who's just sleeping on Miriam's bed. Now you, you have an option. You can kill them or not kill them. If you kill them, you receive a small amount of experience points and nothing more. If you don't kill them, you'll also receive five experience points, but you gain an extremely valuable thing, which I'll tell you at the end of the video. Now, at this point, you're going to want to search all the dressers underneath the pillow, every place you can think of, and you will gain some very valuable documentations. Now, some of the documentations are going to be You'll get Miriam's journal. You'll get a scroll fragment. You'll get proof of citizenship for yourself. And I do believe you'll get proof of citizenship later um, from the scroll fragment for Miriam. You'll also, I do believe there's one more thing. Let's also talk about the tools you'll also gain from searching residents. You'll gain the rope, which is very expensive. I think it costs 17 gold. You'll also gain the torch. I don't think that's quite as expensive, but it could be. So I don't know the exact prices on those, but yes, you'll gain the torch and the rope as tools. 
If you prevent the thieves from running away, they'll both be killed by your brother. And you'll get, as I said, the three red apples, the three pears, and the one loaf of bread. And that's pretty much all you can gain. Now there's some other, there is no gold. There are no weapons. There are no other special items you can gain from this residence. But here's some other things that you can possibly gain. So we are now at the point of the video where the most important thing to understand is every time you go into one of these houses, you are reducing the amount of time you have left in this event period. You only have so many places you can visit during the dream sequence. So this is a extremely wise choice of place to visit. But you'll also do something very important if you do not kill the drug addict on the third floor who was woken up by you. You'll gain his allegiance later on in the story. Now, his name tends to change, I do believe. However, if you do not kill him, he'll owe you a favor. And when he owes you a favor, he will allow you to get the lockpick. Now, if I make any mistakes, I apologize. I'll make sure you know in future videos, The Road Untraveled, what particular facts I have to correct. But it's very important not to kill that opium addict. And that is it. The Barnabas Residence is a great selection of lore, a little bit of experience, a lot of food, and a good opportunity to use your buddy, your brother, to do a little rounding up of some folks who have been rummaging through your house and also to gain very valuable documentation which you can use in the future in your adventures and that's going to be it for us we're going to wrap it up here and definitely stay tuned to this playlist to hear more cool secrets in the game of eldrum red tide and as i always say love yourself each other always be kind and i'll hear you next time take care